and welcome to your Monday evening primetime program, City Lace, on NTA2 Lagos Network Center. And as usual, we bring you the, we bring you the best of events, um, cultural features, just to spice up your, e spice up your evening. So if you're here with us now, please stay tuned. We have so much lined up for you today. And I'm not alone to do that. I have my um, incomparable Paula Martins. <laughs> Thank you, Delectable UCHE. That's what I call her. And it's our pleasure welcoming you to the program. As always, it's um, a tapestry of um, you know, very exciting and interesting things that we're going to be seeing right about here in Lagos and other parts of the country. Um, the lineup, of course, we have, um, well, perhaps uh, one of the best things that's going to happen to Lagos, you know, for, for a while to come. We're going to have uh, a 100 cast drama presentation on stage. Um, we will therefore have the chance, the opportunity to speak with the lead faces of that uh, drama presentation, the lead actor and the lead actress. They'll be here with us in the studio. We'll talk about that show. I won't tell you the name yet, but um, you'll get to see that. Then, of course, we have some musical, as always. Yes, we do. We have a whole lot lined up. It's a full dish, like I always say. It's a full plate. Okay. It's a full plate. Um, okay, let me let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Just a bit of it. Just a bit early. of it. Okay, we have so many features from Saru the Musical. It's a theatre presentation, and we have the lead actor and the lead actress here in the studio. And you'll be seeing a performance from them, apart from the clips we have. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. All right. So this is City Lace, and um, it's a great time having you with us. Don't go anywhere, like Uchi says. So we'll take the first um, uh, teeny little witty bit of what uh, Saru is like. Let's have some musical from Saru. Then we will now get our guests on set. Oh, Are you mad? Me? Mad? I'll go show you. Show me! Light on, we are here. Light on, we are here. We are here.
never before oh yes wow. um you you only say this um this scale when you're talking about broadway when you're looking at you know wow. yes yes wow. huge this wow. is huge wow. this, this is, is uh, incredible and um i'm proud to be a nigerian to see this i am i am in fact speaking of nigerian I, I we have so much today for our viewers at home you know we have a tradition here yes. of promoting promoting things that um um portray our culture anything yes. that express yes. and mirrors yes. our culture and our tradition and in fact our rich heritage this yes. is one of them yeah so i'm sure our viewers we have so much more to learn yes um, and there's more to come from there yes. saro there's yes. more to come from that musical presentation so much more. i know yes. you see it's a good thing because now you don't have to just have this talent you can and make hide money. it, yes, yes. Yes, while exploring them, you can make a good living out of it. Yeah. So what we have coming up shortly um, is, uh, is, a, is a feature of um, b the business of spoken words. Good. Yes, so you good. don't just have this talent for having to So if you, you have the ability to, yes, yes, so they cannot make money out yes. of it. Yes, you know, okay. some weeks ago we had um, our spoken word poets come yes. here, they delivered their thing, and then we were at their event. Yes. Now we have someone telling you how, how to make money yes, out, out of, of it. this. So please stay tuned and enjoy this. So, your theme can be emotional, it can be a topical political issue, it can be about an experience, it can be experiential, it can be about anything at all, but let it be about something. Because sometimes I find that even if you're writing about, let me give you an example. I said Nigeria, isn't it? I said, think about something to write about Nigeria. Now, you cannot write everything about Nigeria in one poem. But some people may have. I don't know. I haven't seen one person that has been able to write everything about a nation, its history, and everything that has happened in that nation in one poem. So in order to make your poetry focused, think about the aspects of the theme that you want to write. Right? So you think about Nigeria and you think about what aspect of Nigeria you want to write. Now the good thing about choosing an aspect is that you can take that one aspect and still follow different emotions or different attributes of that one aspect. I'll give you an example. How many of you know Snip? You know Snip, okay. Snip is one of my poems. I, have, I, write, I, I write two different kinds of poems as far as I'm concerned. I write the classical poems that have a lot of imagery, the oxymorons, all of those heavy, heavy poetry things that people just like, just deep, you know? And then I have the poems that I call my protests. 
Those poems, I write very simple lines, very simple lines because I'm trying to change people's minds. That is my own vision for my poetry. So you have to have a vision, but I'm sure other people will speak about that. Who you are as a poet and who you want to be as a poet, but that's not what I'm here to speak about. So a little you have to invite me next time for that version, but you know. Yeah. So let me just stay with the theme for today, right? My protest poems are very, very, very simple, very light on imagery, but the message is very strong. So if any of you had listened to SNP, for instance, I am talking about Nigeria, but I'm talking about the morale in Nigeria. I'm talking about immorality in Nigeria. So in talking about immorality in Nigeria, so even though my theme is Nigeria in that poem, I am addressing the mindset of people in Nigeria and the fact that it is unsustainable. So in that poem, you will hear me talk about the girl sleeping with someone to get a bank account. You will hear me talk about the girl having anal sex or the man having anal sex just to get some more money. You would hear me talk about women cheating on their husbands just so they can have another, a new car, a new wristwatch. You would hear me talk about the Ron's girls. You would hear me talk about the fact that children cannot become anything better than what they see you doing. You would hear me talk about divorce, right? Because that is what has happened to the moral fabric of Nigeria of today. Everybody wants to know someone to get somewhere. Nobody wants to go through the process of hard work because he hasn't paid anybody in a very long time, right? But you see, all of those elements fall under the theme of morality in Nigeria. And that is just one aspect of Nigeria. So you have to choose a theme. I have another poem called Of Mongrels and Scoundrels. When I used to go to Chile and relax, it was one of the favorites there, where I'm speaking about the perception of Nigeria by the international society, where they expect all of us to be thieves, they expect all of us to be corrupt. So in that poem, I am speaking of Nigeria, but I'm speaking of Nigeria from outside, how people look at us. Do you understand what I'm saying about having a theme, but deciding what aspect of that thing you want to write on? Do you, does everybody get that? Yes. Right. So the people who are given the topic Nigeria, right? It is a theme. It is your responsibility while I'm still speaking, because you know our minds can multifunction. And don't worry, you don't have to write the poem immediately. And honestly, it's not a whole poem. I'm asking you to just write two or three lines, because you're going to do something with this afterwards. So just two or three lines to capture the theme that you are thinking of Nigeria. The same thing about the people with heartbreak, the same thing about people with childhood. The theme, the aspect of Nigeria, the aspect of heartbreak, the aspect of childhood that you want to write about. Now after you have chosen the theme, you need to develop that theme, isn't it? You guys are very non-response, just, just, you just. That was Donna Kay there trying to give us um, some uh, little gist on how we can turn spoken word. It's actually close to what we call Ewi in Yoruba, you know, the ability to uh, speak, you know, your poetry. And that's what she was trying to do there, to get the younger generation to look at how they can buy into it as a trade, as a vocation, uh, as an expression of their own abilities. And I'm sure... Uh, well, outside of here, you know, that is um, a, a, a huge, you know, business. Now we're looking at Nigeria also, picking it up and making good money out of it. Well, we are not talking about money. We are talking about acting. Hmm. <laughs> and I have somebody with me right on set now who actually is a lead, one of the lead faces on Saro. She looks like a Saro girl. I don't know if she's Saro, <laughs> but uh, my pleasure welcoming the... Uh, Adesua Etomi to Sitilis. You're welcome to this program. Thank you very much, sir. Now, there's no sound on television, <laughs> so just um, Bad don't, don't, don't try to push me away. Bad you know, habit. Because I'm I know sorry. all the guys I'm there, are not, they are now looking at her. They want to go and watch the show because of uh, Adesua. No, no, no. Mm. First, you're not Adesua on the show, on the, in that presentation. No. You are, you are Rume. I play the character Rume. So, who is Rume? Well, Rume is the love interest of Olaito, which is one of the uh, four main guys in Saru. 
um she's his motivation every now and again a light one needs a little push i don't mm. want to let too much out, out of the of, bag yes. so um yeah but she she's very essential in a light one's life but was, did she did she create any any strain between a light one and the other three guys Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine what that's going to be like. Then it's, it's amazing. Now, all amazing. this happened, you know, to these guys who came into Lagos. Mm -hmm. So, where did Rume come from? Well, Rume was in the village beforehand. Obviously, they're coming from the village into Lagos looking for greener pastures, as quite a few people tend to do. They believe that Lagos is this, you know. I'm telling you everything. And man. it's all right. It's all right to dream big, and there's absolutely nothing wrong, wrong with, with that, that yeah. you know. Um, so, they are in search of greener pastures, which is why they came from the village into Lagos. So Rume is based in the village. And who knows, she might come to Lagos. She's just going to have to come and watch. This girl <laughs> just like being a marketer. I'd rather have been an actress. But we'll get, we'll get to the bottom of this. Now, mm. Mm, so, okay, so we have these four guys, you know, all you, okay, all these fellows, you know, I saw a bit of, just a snippet. Yeah. And, you know, the, 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 that aspect of Lagos life, mm. every second is a drama. You know, it's at the bus stop, there's drama. At yes. the uh, gas station, there's drama. Yeah. Everywhere you step into, there's something happening. You know, Even with the police. Yes, that's one of the things I absolutely love about Lagos. Lagos, there's always something happening. And what Saro does is actually we pull on these things and incorporate it into our performances. And it's, you can't have a Lagos a story. Uh, about a story about people coming to Lagos without incorporating the things that make Lagos, Lagos, what Lagos it is. you know, mm. um, the good, the bad, but obviously, essentially, it's a story of hope. And mm. everyone needs, everyone mm. needs, mm. you know, like to that. have a little hope. And, you know, it's a way to reach out to young people, older people, anyone, never give up, and, you know, um, on your dreams. So, Saro finds a way to teach you this lesson while... At the same time? At the same time, um, telling you a story. So I think, I think it's absolutely fantastic, and I'm blessed to be a part of this project. It's, it's been great. Now, so can, you, can, can you, can you sh share with us you know, some of the backstage things? You know, how many hours rehearsal? How many? Woo! How, I mean, how did you all get on great cast? I mean, when Balani said it this morning, I was like, we how did you lot. manage that? <laughs> we are a lot. But the thing about, about the arts is that when you f find people that have a common goal, um, it's a lot easier to work with them. Mm. We want to make this project mm. work. Whoa. We're very passionate about this project. We absolutely love Mrs. Uh, Bolanli of St. Peter's uh, vision, and we totally buy into it. And when you buy into a vision, your, your aim is to help that vision be carried out successfully. Um, so it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. We rehearse from 10 to 4 sometimes, 9 to 3, 9 to 4. Uh, it's, it's, it's That's not, a whole day. Yes, it's not a joke because you can't do something on this scale and, and take it lightly. You can't. There's no room for messing up. There's, there's no room for it. We, we don't even know what the word means. Excellence is what we're going for. Mm. And that's what we're striving towards. Perfection. Perfection. Because you can't tell a story like this on this scale and tell it lightly. It's not, it's not possible. Now, um... I, I'm going to be at that show, and I'm going to be looking out for Rume. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, a little bit about this. Uh, where did you get all this from? Were you acting? Well, um, I started uh, studying uh, performing arts in 2004 in the UK. I've only actually been in Nigeria for 11 months or so. Yeah, so um, I actually came into Nigeria hoping that I'd stay for three months. And go back. And go back. And now you you're know. here for 11 months. Yeah. Things are fantastic here. You know, the industry is growing. Uh, things are expanding. I'm so so proud of Nigeria and what it's done with the theatre so far. And it can only get better anyway. Now, you take it from me. She's going to go places. I, won't, I will not introduce her to Nollywood yet <laughs> before they take her away from because I want to be the manager. So I'll be, I'll be taking care of all the, all the naira ends, or the, or the dollar ends, sorry. We'll talk okay, about yeah, it. we'll talk about that. <laughs> all right, we're going to have more uh, snippet from uh, Saro. But uh, before then, let's have some messages, you know. And then we will now continue with, uh, with the show. Uh, uh, of course, at this why it's not going anywhere. Nope. She's still going to be doing um, a little duet. Uh, no, no, let me say that. Maybe not a duet. <laughs> but I'll, I'll make sure she does something before she leaves here. So stay with us. We'll just take a short break, and then we'll continue. Every way 
rose is a flower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every flower is not a rose. Keep a lockdown, ponder. Realest are the number one, the biggest TV station all over Africa. Take it to the world. NTA. Keep a lockdown. General Pipe on NTA to Channel 5 forever. So the thing go. Green, white, green. Boom. Pew. It feels great to be alive to see yet another beautiful day filled with so much to achieve. But did you know that 240 Nigerians will die of cancer today? In the United States of America, two out of every three cancer patients survive. But in Nigeria, only one out of every five cancer patients survive. To kick cancer out of Nigeria, we need 37 mobile cancer centers to reach every Nigerian with life-saving health screening and treatment. Each MCC costs 95 million Naira. You can be an agent of change today. All you need to do is donate. To donate, SMS the word CARE to 44777 at 100 Naira per SMS. For larger donations, use the code 777-526 at the ATM or online at www.quickteller.com. For more inquiries, contact info at cecpng.org, Twitter at cecpnigeria, or facebook.com slash cecpnigeria. Why don't we all come together and act? Let's attack cancer together. Yeah, you're still with us, Sicily. And of course, uh, Roma is still here. I told you she's not going anywhere. Now, um, um, if I ask you to do a little bit of Roma for me, will you be able to do something? <laughs> Won't I be letting too much out of my body? No, now. I just a teaser. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we're going to do a teaser later on. No, that is a duet. <laughs> ah. Yeah, now you've seen. I said I was not going to say it. She's made me to say that now. Okay, we are not doing anything. <laughs> She's sealed all sealed lips. You guys must go and watch the show before you can. Okay, now how many okay. shows are we going to put up? Right. Guys, we've got nine shows over three days. On the 25th. <laughs> you look nine so shows? Shocked. Nine shows. This, this isn't, we're going in for it. We have nine shows on the 25th, uh, 26th, and 27th. We spread the shows, so three shows per day. On the 25th and the 26th, we have a show at 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. Mm. And on the 27th, it's 1 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. Wow. So, that yes, is packed. It's, it's, it's going to be an amazing experience, especially for the performers, who are, yeah. especially for most people that haven't stretched themselves this, this much. much. Yes. You know, so it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to test us, but we're ready for the challenge. We're going to beat this and do it well. I like that. I like that promise. And I hope that we can take this away from Nigeria to other places. I, uh, that's, that's the hope. You know, um, I don't think this is the sort of project that you sit on and you say, oh, yeah, we did it in Lagos, so let's leave it in Lagos. No. You, you take this sort of thing out. People need to see what can come out of Nigeria, Africa. You know, uh, there's so much to offer. And I'm just glad that we have people like Mrs. Bonali Austin Peters that is spreading Initiated her wings this, and yes. initiating this sort of uh, theater experience. Absolutely okay, amazing. all right. So that is it. Theater experience. That is way Rume, or better still, Adesua has put it, and it's an experience you don't want to miss. Okay, so you watch out for Saro. It's going to come up. We have a little bit of it again, and then uh, we'll continue with the show. So stay with us. Don't go anywhere.
caress my face a thousand times. Seriously. Like my hands, my hands are the only ones that have caressed your face. God, even if I was born dead, I'd still be able to tell. I'm sure you say this to all the girls. Oh, why do you torture me? Welcome back. This is still City News on NTA2 Lagos Network Center. What you saw was um, part of the musical, Saro the Musical, the love scene by the two lead actors. I have here with me the male actor, Olaito. Olaito, there was so much love there. <laughs> Tell us, how are we to internalize the role? Oh, well, to start with, it, uh, it wasn't easy, okay. you know, playing someone, something totally different from who you are. Okay. But when you have um, when you have colleagues who are willing to help you, and you have directors who know what they are doing, at least they can guide you to the right part. You know, so I, I think so far what we've been able to achieve is because uh, we're able to assemble a very good crew, you know, to help us put this message across. When you say something different from who you are, who who is Lighton or Lighton? Okay, um, start with. Uh, Lighton from the village of Kutwenji is uh, a young man in his uh, mid 20s. Okay. okay. Uh, belongs to a group, a musical group. I think I'll leave it at no, that. No, 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 but, yes, okay. yes, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I won't be. I won't okay, be. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, no, in his I, mid 20s. I want to see the difference. You say, you say, you say you're doing something. Okay, the being character. Able to, I believe to do something different from what you really are. So I want to understand. I want to understand who. Olaiton, the character is, and who you are. Okay. Olaiton, Olaiton is a very, very, very stubborn character. Okay. Very stubborn person. Very impulsive. Wow. It's uh, so easy to make Olaiton angry, okay. uh, which you will see when you come to see the play. Okay. Yeah. And you? And me. Yes. I am nothing like him. Really? Nothing like him. And it was so easy to... Express That's what I said. It, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I'm, I'm still trying to hmm. find him. But I, I, I know I'll get him. Wow. Know. Okay. The, 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 some of the things you say about Olaiton, okay. Your ability to express Olaiton, yeah. does it have anything to do with like your, um, your personal experience? Like he's um, one of the four guys that came to Lagos in search of opportunities. Now, is there any aspect of that character that 